Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the homestead. Well, it's another rainy day here in southwest Missouri. The Ozarks in general are just being flooded. <laughs> We're getting just a ton of rain. Today, Sarah and I are going to be taking a road trip down to Arkansas to visit another family uh, who has a, a YouTube channel as well called An American Homestead. An American Homestead was the first homestead that inspired us on our journey as homesteaders as well as to be YouTube video creators. Uh, they're going through a hard time right now. So today we're going to be taking them some things from the greenhouse and the homestead to say thank you for inspiring us as well as hopefully help them out a little bit. We're going to take them some tomato plants and some pepper plants for their garden. Because we've been watching their channel for so many years, we knew that Zach's favorite tomatoes are the Arkansas Travelers, and it just so happens that we had a bunch of them started this year. We're going to bless them with those today, and hopefully it will get their garden off to a good, strong start. Well, we passed into Arkansas on our way to uh, visit uh, Zach and Jamie at an American homestead. So I wanted to take a couple minutes to talk to you guys about uh, what they're going through and how we got to know who they are. When we bought our urban homestead in the Phoenix area, we actually happened upon a Roku channel about homesteading and started watching episodes of their, I, I don't even know if they had a YouTube channel at that time, but they had videos on that Roku channel. And we started watching them and really fell in love with their family and what they're doing. They live off grid in the Ozark Mountains in Northern Arkansas. And we were able to watch their journey from almost the beginning, definitely from the beginning of when they started filming. And we really just fell in love with what they were doing. Their family is so sweet, their faith, their determination. And we knew that that type of lifestyle, the homesteading lifestyle, was really what we wanted to do and what we were being called to do. We have continued to follow them on their YouTube channel and really enjoy them. Recently, their family has shared through YouTube and through their Patreon channel that Jamie has cancer. She has recently gone through surgery. She is home now, recovering and going through different treatments. It has really pulled at our heartstrings because we have followed them for so long. And as you may know, when you follow a family on YouTube, you really feel like you know them and you feel like you're, they're kind of part of your, not your family, but maybe your extended family. And we, we decided to reach out to them, homestead to homestead, to see if there was a way that we could help them. So knowing everything that they're going through and knowing just, you know, how difficult it is to uh, not only keep up with everything they're going through, but then on top of that, try to get a garden started for the spring, uh, it was going to be really hard for them. So we uh, contacted them and asked if we could bring down some plants so that they can have a good start to their garden. Uh, we really hope that it'll bless them, uh, not only by easing some of the burden of not having to start their own plants this year, uh, but also hopefully, you know, some good um, healthy food to help Jamie in her recovery. We really want to thank them for inspiring us to do everything that we do and to uh, inspire us to get the ball rolling we were still in the city and we felt that this would be a great way for us to thank them and hopefully help them out this summer yeah they don't know how much they've already helped us uh, this is just a small uh, hopefully a thank you back to you know the encouragement they gave us through their YouTube channel uh, when they didn't even know that they were doing it so um, we hope we're an encouragement to some of you guys um, they certainly were an encouragement to us. 
we've never met them. We've never met their family. We've never talked on the phone. We just have had a couple emails back and forth just recently about us coming to help them out with some plants. Hey guys, we made it to an American homestead. Uh, finally got to meet Zach in person. We're, we're excited. I don't think you guys have any idea what an influence you had on us. We like we were talking on the way here. We didn't even know where the Ozarks were until we started watching your channel. <laughs> so for us to leave Phoenix and move to the Ozarks was 100% because of you guys. So well, Kevin, it's great to finally meet you. Yeah, Appreciate it. we're we're excited and uh, we hope the tomato plants will help you guys out this yeah, summer. You guys have no idea. At least get you off to a good start. Absolutely. I mean, we we grow about 60 plants every year or thereabouts and. Um, I was really worried if we were going to be able to do that this year. I mean, it was it was going to be hit and miss, and, and at this point, you know, I still hadn't gotten, I've gotten everything I needed to do to do it. Right. I just haven't had time to do it. You know, right. We've gone so much with things, and so really what you guys have done is just blessed us tremendously. Yeah. Well. Appreciate it. We, we like to do what we can. Thank so. you. Thank you. So we're going to go down, and we're going to take a look at the garden, and just kind of look around. Yep. Well, we sure had a good time yesterday taking those plants down to Arkansas uh, for Zach and Jamie. Uh, we sure hope that those will help them out. Today we're back on the homestead. It's another cloudy, kind of rainy day. It's gonna, supposed to rain on and off. You're probably wondering why I've got my tiller, my brand new tiller, on the trailer. Unfortunately, even though I just bought this about six weeks ago, it's already broken. I don't know exactly what's wrong with it. I'm taking it back to the dealer today. I'm hoping that they will just switch it out and give me a new one. Uh, but my gut tells me they'll probably say they need to fix it. I was using it a few days ago before we got that big rainstorm because I thought I'll get the summer garden tilled up before we get all this rain. I got about three quarters of the way through the garden and I wasn't hitting any rocks or anything like that. It's actually an area that I've tilled before. And all of a sudden the tiller made a huge clunking noise and it just seems like it's frozen up it won't spin uh, I quick unhooked it from my tractor so that I didn't damage my tractor I don't think I damaged my tractor um, but it's like completely seized up so I need to take it back to the dealer and see what they'll do about it I've used this thing for less than an hour total so far I tilled up our spring garden which you know really isn't that big it's about 50 by 80 and then I've tilled up now three quarters of our summer garden, which is the same size. So uh, definitely not anything that should be a burden to this tiller. So we're going to load it up, or we've got it loaded up. We're going to head off to the place that we bought it and see what they'll do about it. Well, we're on our way back home. I do not have a tiller on the trailer, uh, but I have to say I was very happy with the uh, customer service here at the uh, shop. They actually had like six of the service guys that instantly came up because they said they've never seen one of these break down. Uh, at first I think maybe they were a little doubtful that maybe I had just done something wrong, but in the end what they uh, realize is that the uh, main bearing had actually like shattered and so they need to order a whole new bearing for it so they'll fix that there's not gonna be any charge to us which is good but we will have to come back next week to pick it up so I mean it sets me back a little bit but we're supposed to get a lot of rain coming up and I probably wouldn't have been able to use it anyway 
So I'm real happy with the way that they're taking care of it and hopefully that's the last problem. They all swear that in 16 years that they've been selling these bush hog tillers, this is the first one they've seen come back with a major problem. So I guess that's my luck. We're heading back home. We're back home, it's already noon, and I'll be honest, taking this thing to the shop today was not in our plans at all. Fridays are so busy for us here getting ready for the farmer's market. This took just took up half the day. The shop is about an hour away from our house, so, um, but we need to get it fixed. I couldn't delay until next week because we need to get this thing fixed. We have a lot of work to be doing with it. So not only is today busy, but tomorrow also. Farmer's Market at the Ava Square, Ava, Missouri from 7 a.m. to noon. But also this weekend, Sunday and Monday, is the Baker Creek Spring Planting Festival. We'll be there both days. We won't have a booth. We won't be selling our plants, but we'll be there visiting. Especially on Monday at 1030, we're going to be speaking at the speaker's booth. So don't forget to stop by there. Uh, we'd love to chat. Hope you guys can make it. It's a great time. Yeah, we're really looking forward to meeting a lot of you guys and just being able to spend some time uh, getting to know you. Uh, you feel like you know us. We don't feel like we know a lot of you yet, so we're looking forward to that. If you guys like what we're doing here and if you are enjoying our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Tell other people too. We would love it. And until next time, thank you so much for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.